How's it going, guys? We're jumping into another game here. Let's see what we get. I would like to play until I get a victory. So, crossing my fingers. Oh, wow. Well, there it is. Now, nah, we can't we can't count that as a win. You know, I was joking about that the other day, but it doesn't give you points. Which is silly. Why doesn't it give you points if your opponent aborts the game? That's called forfeiting. All right, we have we have entered the London system. Let's see if I can do better this game than last game. Uh, not that I did that badly last game. I just got outplayed, you know? It happens. My my opponent had like 85% accuracy. When I get in the 80s, I generally win those games. That's just how it is. So, oh, well, look at that. I was going to say... I want to bring my knight out to potentially stop up this diagonal, but hey, now we have the open file. So we definitely want to get our bishop on the game. Attacking that pawn. And... Let's do it now. He's defending, he's defending the pawn, which is fine. Hold on, guys. We've got three pieces ready to go. Is that enough? Bishop takes. Knight takes. Queen out to here. How do you stop it? Let's say he pushes the pawn. I, yeah, I think I need to get my knight in the game first. Because that would control that escape square. All right. But wait, now my queen can't get in. Do I need to jump here? Ha yeah, 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 that still controls the escape square. Okay, so check this out. Here's my plan. Knight here. Greek gift. Knight takes. Queen out to here. Pinning the knight. Right? The knight can't jump away because that would be mate in one. So let's say he does something, um, pushes this pawn. I take the knight with check, and that's actually checkmate because he can't escape. All right, that's my plan. Knight here, Greek gift. Let's see if he stops it somehow. He's nervous. How long has he been thinking? This is his longest think yet. I think it's been over a minute. So maybe he's second-guessing the wisdom of castling into this structure, which that's a good decision. You don't usually want to do that. I think he should play h6. That would be my guess. Oh, no! Oh, no! No way! No way! He did it! What the heck? What? What? Well, now what do I do? <laughs> um, that was a very, very clever move. He thought about that for over a minute. Dude, let me look at this guy's rating. 1321, that's it. He's like near his peak, but he must have some experience. He must have some experience with the London, because I think a lot of people would miss that. You know, I play the London a lot, so I'm always looking at the Greek gift, and sometimes I calculate incorrectly, but that is unbelievable. Because I don't have a dark square bishop. Usually people only play that to prevent getting pinned. Well, he's not going to get pinned. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. All right, knight, <laughs> knight into here anyway kind of looks like an idea... And that does support the pawn coming forward, right? I want to push here, push here. Uh, 
Okay, now if he takes, we, we get his knight kicked out, so that's fine. That is fine if he wants to trade. Let's see, what else might he do? He could jump in here to hit my bishop. That's a good reason to push c3. Because I do not want to give this guy up. We need this coordination right now. The other thing I want to do, though, is just start pushing this pawn. But let's let's be smart. Let's, let's play that. That might tempt him to get rid of this knight, because he sees it as an attacker. But the problem is, it also gets rid of a defender. However, I, yeah, I don't know if I have enough juice, you know? Because if he jumps back to here, what do I do? Well, I'll tell you, queen out to here, pinning the pawn, take the pawn, take this pawn. Okay, push, that is interesting. So this way he, um, he doesn't have to move his knight until I do this. Now he does have to. I just watched a video yesterday from Remote Chess Academy and he, uh, GM Igor Smirnov, the main guy. I don't know if there even is anyone else. I've seen some of their older videos and they had other chess coaches or teachers or whatever you call them. But now it's like, I, I never see anyone but him. But anyway, he called this uh, not a Pillsbury Knight. Was it a Pillsbury Knight? I think, I think the guy who started playing this was like Thomas Pillsbury or something. I might be totally misremembering, but I always like a little bit of chess history, you know? But it's a very nice pattern and it is very common in the London system. This is what I wanted to do if black didn't trade bishops. Remember when my bishop was back here? Part of the reason for moving the bishop out of the way is that you can push your F pawn forward and lock in this knight. Whoops, I was trying to highlight those squares. Yeah, so I think that's called the Pillsbury knight or, or was it Pilt, Piltbury or something? I don't remember. Once again, my opponent is taking his time, which you know what? I appreciate that. It's, it's good to take your time in these complicated positions. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Now what do I do? Queen out to here. Knight takes hitting my queen. Wait, no, that doesn't help. I'm defended by a pawn, and now his queen has to move. Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on a second. This looks really familiar. That knight jumping back here, is there some trick, or is that only if you've played c4? Let me think about this. Now, I don't see it, but if he takes... I'm still going to get a pawn here, and he can't jump his knight back. Oh, he was worried about the fork. So, oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. He wants to take this knight, and that would have been a fork. He would have lost that knight. So, good news is, when he jumps a knight in here, I'm still going to take it with a pawn, and this square is gone. He's not getting it back. So, queen here looks very nice. Now, if he attacks me with a pawn, then I would just probably jump in here, hitting the rook. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's think about that. Let's think about that. So I, I really want to take that pawn. So queen here, if he attacks my knight, just take. And then I'm threatening rook here, defended by my bishop. Or actually, bishop. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We would go bishop here, check. King has to move here. 
Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't see it all. But that feels like a strong enough attack that I might even give up the knight if he attacks me. So queen here, push, or knight jumps in. Rook moves here. I'm not sure. Let's let's get this started though. Feels like a reasonable first move of this attack that's brewing. I am threatening to take that pawn. What are you going to do, sir? You know, if he attacks my knight, I could also just take the knight. Like I'll just take one of his knights, who cares? That might be better than unpinning that pawn. Hold on a second. Hold, hold, oh. Okay. Well, that should make it easy. I just, do I take with this pawn? Or the, I, I think I take with this pawn. Now the queen has to move, probably back to here, unfortunately. But I'm still gonna I'm still gonna take that pawn. That's good. That's really good. Yeah, so the knight's not coming back to help defend. At least not yet. Not very easily. And you see the power of this London pawn pyramid. There's no way for him to come over here and attack my king. Okay, so I take the pawn. 100%. Bishop. Do I bring the bishop in? I really don't know. Really don't know. But in my opinion... Terrifying attack. If I were black, I would be quaking in my boots. Pushing the pawn would be a terrible idea. That would be instant bishop sack. Right? Sack the bishop, recapture. Um, let's see, queen takes, queen blocks. Ooh, actually... Do I even have anything? Okay, we might need to... We'll, we'll do some more calculation if we need to. If the pawn pushes, maybe it's better just to back up the queen and then we're setting up a mate, which might not... It might not be possible to stop that mate. Not sure. But we're a pawn up. That's good. Oh, wait a minute. Rook to the corner. Check. King takes. Okay, if he doesn't push the pawn. If he doesn't push the pawn, I think I know how to win the game. Rook to the corner, check. King takes. Queen here, check. Or, or queen back here, either one. King is forced back here, and then queen to this square is mate. So if he does something goofy, I think I can win. But if he pushes this pawn, I'm not sure what to do. That does give him an escape square. If he moves the rook, I think we win. Okay? Rook, rook moves to give him some room. Then we do it. Check. King takes. Check. King moves. Check. King moves, queen in the corner mate. 
We don't even need a guard because the king's too far away. Very, very, very tricky. Um, and guess what? If he pushes the pawn, I think I see the mate. It's not a bishop sack. It's a rook sack. Pawn push. Rook takes. Rook or pawn recaptures. Queen takes. Oh, wait, no. Then the queen comes in. Yeah, I just don't know. Just don't know. I think if he pushes the pawn, I'm going to I'm going to drop my queen over or sorry, back to here. Threaten that and then queen here. I don't know, maybe it's mate. I'm not sure. Really not sure. That's hard to calculate. Guys, leave a comment if you can see checkmate here. We're on move 13. Can you find guaranteed checkmate? Like mate in three or something like that? Or or can you find a way to win his queen? That would be cool. really curious what he might do here if he pushes this pawn oh my gosh it's go time oh no he thought about that for four minutes i've also been thinking about it for i don't know at least a minute of that time i was looking at pushing the pawn Queen here. And like, what can he do? How does he... Okay, if I, if I go here, he has to move up. And then queen here is mate. He can't escape because of this pawn. So queen back here. What can he do? Knight can't jump in. I mean, maybe that's the best... No, that doesn't even stop it. Just boom. Boom. King comes up, and then queen here is mate. So there's no sack. It's just unstoppable mate. Queen here, what can he do? If he moves, we go for it. Check. He's forced up here. Mate. I don't see a way to stop it, guys. But if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong... I might be in trouble. Just because my knight is here, my king is wide open. But it's not easy for him to get in. His queen can't come here. Can't come here. Well, wait. If I go here, queen here, thinking about that, that's too slow. Because I go here, queen here, check. King comes up, mate. All right, guys, I'm going for it. I did my little calculation. Now, if he pushes this pawn, then at the very least, we win his queen. Right? Check. King is forced up, either here or here. Rook comes back. King has to move. We win the queen. All right, I'm happy. I, I, think, I think there are ways out of this. I don't think it's checkmate. I think he has to push this pawn. But no, wait. If he pushes the pawn, I can take with the rook. Check. King here. Queen comes in. Oh, king escapes. All right, we're going to have to be super careful. Or maybe it would be better to take with the bishop, because that prevents the king from escaping. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Oh, I hope I haven't blundered. 
I don't see how it could be that bad of a blunder. Queen out to here. Check. King is forced there. That's mate. I mean, that I'm not wrong about that. So we can cross that move off. Pawn pushes. Maybe my best bet is just to win the queen. <gasps> oh. Nope, that's mate. Rook here. King is forced up. Queen here. That's mate. He was thinking he's guarding the square. But I don't need to go to that square. Perfect. All right. That, that was a fun game. Let's do a quick game review and see if my calculation was correct or if my opponent just messed up, you know? Because I'm, I'm really not sure if I had an actual checkmate there. Um, looks like we had something going on. Now, what's this? Did you guys notice something that I missed? Looks like plus four, four and a half. So we should have won a piece, maybe even a rook or something. Oh man, my poor opponent, 49%, that hurts. You don't like to see that. All right, let's go through it nice and fast. Yeah, castling into this, not a good idea. And here I messed up. Oh, so we should have done it right away. Let's see how that would have looked. Oh yeah, what was I thinking here? Why didn't I do this? Why did I think I needed another piece? Oh, because of the escape square. So he goes here. And then I'm a pawn up. And I just bring my knights out. I'm like, yeah, whatever. What? Knight h3? Yeah, see, I'm not going to find that. Knight c3, that's a possibility, but what's the point? What am I what am I doing with this knight? I'm just playing through this a little bit. Oh, I guess the point was to be able to castle this way, not because I'm using the knight. Okay, rook g8. Why not trade off the queen here? Oh, because then white has this annoying situation. Wait, how did I win? A, what did I win here? What? Oh, yeah, I, he lost a rook. Never mind. I don't know what I was thinking there. Oof. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so that is nice. I, yeah, I missed it, guys. What can I say? We should have done the Greek gift one move earlier. I just wanted to get this knight in position, and that gave him time to prepare. Man. Good lesson there. Good lesson. All right. Let's see if we played this okay. So in this position, it's plus 12. So yeah, I think there was a way for the king to escape and just lose the queen, which would be here. Yep, you have to play f5. And then I, oh. There's two different ways to win the queen. So this was what I was talking about. King comes up. We pop up here. King gets away. We win the queen. That looks very nice. So I was I would have been happy with that. And then this also works and is slightly better for some reason. King f7. Queen a this is weird. King e8. Rook takes e6. So we win a pawn. The queen is pinned. Okay, fair enough. We, we did win an extra pawn. Oh, man. Computers are rough, man. 
So right here, he needed to play e5. And I still would have done this. No, I wouldn't. Queen g6. Queen g6. Really? Why not this? Oh, because then I lose my rook. Ha! Rook e8. Surely I don't do this? Rook h1? I just get out of there? Are you kidding me? We're done. We're done. We're not winning anything. Oh, I see. So we're going to deliver the check like that. All right. Uh, whatever, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that game. And I will see you next time. Bye.